Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this leopard print effect and the diamond pattern up top. With some buttercream, I'm attaching a 5 inch cake board to a, uh, another cake board and popping it into the freezer. And with some buttercream, I've attached my 7 inch cake on a 10 inch cake board. Building that up with some vanilla buttercream, I'll have the recipe link in the description box below. And then proceed to create your crumb coats. This will just add stability to your cake and also trap in any crumbs. With my acrylic scraper, I am clearing that up and also cleaning the top with my spatula, bringing that lip of frosting to the center. Pop it into your freezer for 10 minutes and in the meantime, build your top tier. And this is being built, five inch cake, being built on a five inch cake board. Following the exact same steps, just creating a crumb coat, cleaning up the sides with my acrylic spatula, and then clear up the top as well, back into the freezer for 10 minutes to set. In the meantime, we can decorate with our final layer of frosting. So again, just regular buttercream and we're doing the exact same thing, but we're adding a much thicker layer. I like to go around quickly with my bench scraper to move around the buttercream and then slowly to create a nice smooth finish. Clean up the top again, bringing that lip of frosting to the center and popping it into the freezer. Do the same thing with your top tier. Here I have some fondant that I'm rolling out. I colored this tan by using gold, uh, egg yellow, a little bit of chocolate brown and black, all in Americolor gel food color until I got the shade that I wanted. The fondant's been rolled to about two and a half millimeters in thickness. I've draped it over the cake and to attach it to my cake, I'm undoing those pleats and massaging the fondant onto the buttercream, which is now pretty solid thanks to the freezer. With a fondant smoother, just making sure to secure the fondant to the very bottom of the cake and then cutting off the excess. Using fondant smoothers again, just smoothing down the sides and the top, little circular motions to kind of pinch the fondant between the smoothers to create sharp edges. You'll be doing this for about 20 minutes, but it's worth it. Then go around just to make sure that the top and the sides are nice and smooth and pop it into your fridge. Do the same thing with your top tier. I'm popping five dowels into the base, uh, the bottom tier cake, just to support the weight of our top tier. Before I pop it onto our cake, I'm going to imprint our diamond pattern on top. So this is a kind of like a mold, uh, and you just press it directly onto the cake. And you press down pretty firmly, firmly to make sure that the pattern transfers. Line it up. And then sometimes I, I kind of find it easier to hold it down with one hand and then just press over the sections that I want imprinted with the other hand. Make sure to keep it steady so the pattern remains nice and um, well, the same all the way through. And then for the very top, just line it up again. I find it's easier to work um, over my cake rather than directly in front. Just holding it steady and pressing it in, making sure it's all nice and lined up. And then I pop that back into the freezer for 15 minutes so it's nice and hard. And I'm attaching it to my bottom tier with a little bit of buttercream. Because it wasn't a freezer, we can now move it around easily without denting our cake. Hide the base of your cake with a little bit of black ribbon. This is double-sided adhesive tape just sealing off our black ribbon. Now my favorite part is the leopard print. This is um, champagne gold by Creative Cake Decorating with a little bit of alcohol. You could use rose water or lemon extract as well. And just painting large spots all over my cake. In between I'm adding small ones and then even smaller ones to fill in. the black paint to go on the sides of those spots I have gel food color in super black by Americolor adding a little bit of vodka to create a paint paint directly to the side of each dot and make sure that they don't all look the same so we'll have some sections that are empty 
like so. Um, so there's a bit of a space in between. And do the same with the smaller dots too. For the even smaller ones, I just add like literally little touches of the brush to the spot. do this for the whole cake might take you a little bit of time but it's actually very therapeutic to attach the little black pearls um, edible sugar pearls I've added some um, this is piping gel as a glue in between each intersection you could also just use water or tylose powder um, mixed with water to and you're done create a very easy quilted pattern and the cheetah slash leopard print cake. Next time around though I will make this cake in white. I mean not for a tutorial because it's already been done but if I ever recreate this I think having a white base of fondant would look really really nice as well. If you like the tutorials don't forget to subscribe to our channel we upload a new video every Tuesday. I also sell these cake toppers here on my website if you guys are interested on rosiesdessertspot.com. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys next week.